High quality beef costs more at retail and in the restaurant, but do cattlemen get paid more to produce it? A 2014 survey of licensed certified Angus beef brand packers says yes, and more than double what they paid in 2010. In the last two years uh, combined, packers have paid uh, just under $100 million in in certified Angus beef specific premiums back to the production sector. You know, clearly responding to the pull through demand that consumers uh, are, are showing us and paying more for product at retail and at food service and really sending a strong economic signal back to producers that we need more of those kind of cattle that can hit certified Angus beef brand standards. That demand has built over time. Total CAB grid premiums paid exceed $450 million, and nearly 30% of that in just the last three years. Missouri cattleman Ben Eggers remembers when that column showed up on the first grid settlement sheets. Once that got started, then other packers were soon to follow suit in order to try to draw those premium cattle. So it, but it's been a process that's, that has evolved over the years. The way that economic signal grew has changed feeder calf values over time, too. The first step to get a certified Angus beef uh, carcass is, is to get uh, a black hided animal. So, so it, it has transpired back into the feeder calf industry uh, just simply through black hided cattle. And of course, a lot of uh, if a feeder has purchased a set of calves from a particular breeder before, then uh, he knows to go back if those cattle perform well and he got a lot of grid premiums and he'll go back and pay a premium to that to that producer just in order to get the calves. For many, genetic selection has moved from a focus on choice to the higher quality targets. The choice select spread is part of our history. It's not part of our future. Uh, Angus breeders who are really using the tools available, the genetics available in our breed, are producing choice cattle at a minimum. Uh, so premium choice cattle and the prime choice spread are the tools of the future that I think we as Angus breeders need to focus on and educate our customers about. Beck says that there could be a $200 per head difference in a prime versus a choice carcass. You start putting $200 a head on 100 calves in the lifetime of a bull, we get talking about quite a bit of money in a real hurry. And I think uh, teaching our customers to, to uh, earn that premium on a consistent basis, helping them achieve that uh, is the future for Angus breeders. Overall, this survey data helps answer the common question, where's the premium? I think it's exciting to see from a producer's perspective that, that the packers and the, uh, the, the system we have for rewarding quality truly is stepping up to the plate and starting to reward those producers who truly have the kind of cattle that consumer demand is, uh, is expecting our industry to provide. I'm Cindy Campbell.